Personally, do both. Like when the seeds are super small, like this. These are kind of small. So when the seeds are small like this, I can eat them. But if they're huge seeds, I simply cannot. Okay, now off to edit.
I actually ended up getting both dresses. <laughs> And you know what? I'm still not sure which one I'm gonna wear to this wedding, but my sister is also getting married next year, so now I have options for both weddings. Not that I need two different dresses to attend weddings, but I think both of these dresses are very Barbie core. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm being influenced. Anyway, I actually left the store with this dress first which honestly, it's a safer choice in my opinion. But the whole time I was walking to the tram station, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna regret not buying the other one. I should bring the other one as well. It's different, it's, it's more bold. And like the bride and groom of the wedding did say that we should be bold in our outfit choices. And so maybe the other one is better. And yeah, so like the whole time I was thinking I should get the other one, I should get the other one. So I ended up going back to the store and I got this one. For me, this is me trying to be more creative with my style. I usually don't wear a lot of pink. I do love pink, but I don't have a lot of clothes uh, that are pink. Honestly, I mostly wear, most clothes in my uh, wardrobe are yellow, green and red, which ironically are the colors of the Portuguese flag, <laughs> now that I think of it. Then I have lots of black clothing and a little bit of brown, but I guess I'm trying to be more creative with my style for this past year. I. I used to be so fearless with my style when I was in middle school and high school and I think that coming to Germany, especially when I was living in Munich, I always felt very self-conscious. I always felt like every time I wear something more colorful or with a more bold pattern, I would always stand out and I really didn't like the feeling of people staring at me like I was a weirdo or something and so maybe they weren't even looking at me like that but I don't know I interpreted like that and I started to feel really self-conscious so I started to be more safe with my clothing choices I guess aka boring in my opinion and I feel like ever since I moved here I've been trying to get out of that curse, you know, and so I'm trying to be more bold with my clothing choices. The only thing that I don't like in this dress are the buttons and I think I'm gonna change change it. Um, and I still don't know what these straps are for. This one is longer than the other and they're not sewn into the dress, so I, th I don't know, I might wear this uh, on my hair or something. And even though I don't have a lot of fancy places to go to, I think at least like this one I can wear as a summer dress during the day if I change the buttons, of course. And I think this one I could always use for a night out, you know, if I, if I want to be a little bit extra, you know. All in all, I'm just glad that I was able to thrift not one but two dresses that are appropriate to go to the wedding and that fit me because I do tend to have a hard time finding my size uh, in thrift shops, uh, especially for dresses. They're always too big or too small on me. Now the only thing that I'm missing for the outfit are the shoes. I've been looking around everywhere and it hasn't been easy to find uh, secondhand shoes that fit me so i think i'm gonna have to buy firsthand and i want a very specific type of shoe that i can wear regardless of the event i'm gonna put this away and i am actually gonna start packing my in-laws are currently here in berlin for a visit and we are taking a little road trip during the weekend to northern germany which I'm very excited about and we're leaving tomorrow morning. We are mostly hiking during this trip, so I am taking comfortable clothes and also I'm actually gonna bring a pair of jeans with me uh, because it might get cold, you know. And I should not forget to bring my rain jacket as well, so.
Tu consegues? Muito alto. Tu consegues? É só dar um ganho. Trabalhar a profundidade de canto. For four days, we saw so many beautiful things on the countryside. We hiked a lot. We got super lucky with the weather, especially in the first couple of days. It was so sunny and warm. On the last days, it was a bit more cold and windy, but we managed to get through it. It just felt really nice to be around nature and hiking and all of that. though I accidentally dislocated my shoulder and put it back again in a matter of seconds it hurt so bad that I actually had to go to the doctor on one of the days but everything was fine I just had to wear a cloth over my neck it was a very annoying but also funny situation I can laugh about it now but at the time it wasn't funny at all uh, but basically I was followed by a flying bug, a very annoying one for at least 20 minutes and I was trying to not kill it, of course, but I was trying to make it go away and I accidentally hurt myself in the process of doing that. Um, the bug lived, but I hurt myself really bad, but in the end it was fine. And this was such a nice trip to be surrounded by nature and to see the Baltic Sea um, so it was really nice. And eventually it was time to get home and get back to our routines. <laughs> 